Hello everybody, this is me. I'm sorry this was blurry, but I had to do take the video like this just because I didn't want to use up a whole lot of um, data or usage on my phone. So I'm doing it this way. So um, when it comes to Broken Angel, um, some of you guys have asked me this question. So technically because you find out in book two that Jamie has a hidden gift ever since she was that of a child and she didn't understand what her gift was and that her gift was connected to the fact that in her dreams she was able to lift the veil um and go wander in certain places within purgatory and within hell you know as a child she didn't know that so i've been asked this question too bringing up freddy krueger <laughs> Subject matter, Freddy Krueger. Okay, yes, Freddy Krueger, he does linger within the dream world, right? He's known as the dream demon. But when it comes to Jaslyn from Broken Angel, who would be more powerful, Freddy Krueger or Jaslyn? And so here's kind of my thoughts and theories about that whole thing. Um, So really, I could see Jaslyn actually being way way more powerful than Freddy Krueger. Here is why. Because you have to remember that Jaslyn and Broken Angel is a fallen angel of virtue. For Freddy Krueger, you have to remember with him, okay yes, he's this big scary monster, yes, he can kill people in their dreams, but you gotta remember at the same time with Freddy, he was born human. He lived a mortal life. He died human, right? We got to remember with Jaslyn, Jaslyn is a fallen angel of virtue. Jaslyn was never human. From the very gecko, Jaslyn was never human. Jaslyn never lived a mortal life. Jaslyn is ancient and is old, has been around long before mankind came to the picture, long before Freddy Krueger would have ever existed, long before then, long before Adam and Eve, that whole thing. So Jaslyn is ancient and old, and Jaslyn, truly Jaslyn's essence, is that Jaslyn was never human. From the very beginning, Jaslyn was never human. So that's kind of the difference between Freddy and Jaslyn, and that's kind of the disadvantage that Freddy would have. And you, you could say, okay, well, he gave his souls to demons before he died. He gave his souls to those dream demon things before he died and before, you know, the flames engulfed him and, you know, turned him into Krispy Kreme, right? <laughs> Here's the thing with that. So... Like in Broken Angel, just because you give your soul to a demon moments before you die does not mean you are a lot more powerful or you are just as equally powerful as that demon. Because you got to remember, you gave your soul to that demon. So that demon or demons technically own you. In the, lo in, in the long haul and the whole spectrum of things, those demons technically own you you because you gave your soul to them out of maybe desperation or seeking or yearning power so you still gave your soul to them so they still own you so yeah they may give you rules of like oh yes you can you can go and be a master of the dream world and you can you can go and kill people to feed you know your bloodthirst sure yeah we'll let you do that but you have to remember, you gave your soul to them, so technically, bitch, they still owe you. So you don't have, you don't have just free range of whatever you can do. So like with Freddy, for instance, and that's kind of what even Lucifer or even Jaslyn, even Hellhound Hades, we kind of explained, you know, Freddy is, yes, yes, you can go into people's dreams. Yes, you can kill them in their sleep, but the thing is, you can only do so much. You're compared to what other demons can do and compared to what Jaslyn is capable of doing, Freddy is 
is very limited to what he can do. He doesn't have a whole lot of advantages when it comes to the abilities of what Jaslyn can do and all the things that he can do, essentially, right? Because once again, you got to remember, you got to come back to the point that Jaslyn was never human. Jaslyn never lived a mortal life. Jaslyn is that of a celestial being, a fallen angel of virtue, is ancient and is old and has been around long before mankind, long before Adam and Eve ever came into the picture, long before Freddy would have ever existed, that whole thing, right? So that's kind of the disadvantage that Freddy would have compared to Jaslyn. And this is why Jaslyn would be a lot more powerful than Freddy Krueger in the long run. Where Jaslyn actually would have the capability to wound Freddy, to damage him, possibly kill him. Because you have to remember too, here's the other whole layer or spectrum of that whole Freddy Krueger thing is Hades would kind of look at it in a way as that Freddy is his soul is stuck in limbo that the dream world that he normally lingers in that is just another certain place when the within the vastness of purgatory and so in my story purgatory is vast it's endless everybody's purgatory is different and there's a lot of layers when it comes to the whole thing of purgatory. So like with Freddy, Freddy would be more so like a soul that is stuck in limbo, that is stuck in some certain place within purgatory that he would have free range in because that was part of the bargain or that was part of the deal that these dream demons made him or arranged for him. It's like, yes, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want but you can only do whatever you want within this certain area within purgatory. You cannot go beyond this certain area within purgatory. This is like your little space. This is your little area within purgatory that you can roam free. You can kill as many people as you want to in their sleep, but you just have to stay within this perimeter, within this, you know, little box, this little boxy box box, the section, right? So that's the other thing is that Freddy... Freddy would be more so seen as a soul that is stuck within a certain place within purgatory that he he has not been he kind of got of he kind of got out of that whole you know spectrum of being finally judged right you know being finally judged and henceforth then a higher power deciding you know, is he going to go to heaven? Is he going to go to hell? Obviously, he would go to hell because of the stuff he's done. That's a whole different other thing. You know, that whole spectrum. So, that whole thing. So, that's kind of my whole... St I mean, Freddy's still a badass, but that's kind of how I see when it comes to Jaslyn and the whole angels and demons, heaven, hell, purgatory. That's kind of how I see Freddy. Is Freddy... Yes, he's... He's very bad evil spirit per se, but he's more so a soul that is stuck within a certain place within purgatory, but he cannot, you know, he can't really get out of that perimeter, out of that section within purgatory because, you know, the demons that he made this deal with, there, there's, a, there's a lot to the deal that he, that they didn't tell him and so you know, he's just like, oh, yeah, that, that's just great. I gave my soul to you dream demons. And now you say, I gotta stay within this fucking perimeter. <laughs> that's kind of how it would be is, um, uh, could I see Jamie running into Freddy? Maybe, maybe, maybe if I decide to write a fan fiction, maybe. Um, but I kind of, I have my whole feel about the whole fan fiction stuff not that i'm totally dissing fan fiction fan fiction is cool but i still i kind of i have my i'm on the fence about fan fiction for my for reasons but um but yeah that's kind of how i can see the whole freddy krueger thing that whole thing is that he's really just 
a soul that's stuck within a certain place within purgatory or he's you know he's stuck in limbo and he's only within a cer certain place within purgatory where a lot of souls linger that have not been judged that have not been given the final judgment of you either go to heaven or you go to hell kind of thing um, and that he's in just in a certain place within purgatory that he's able to go into people's dreams and able to kill them kind of thing because you know the the demons that he made this deal with before he died these dream demons they weren't very pacific or specific i don't they weren't they weren't very particular <laughs> on the area that they were just gonna like be like okay so this is your sandbox and this is the sandbox you got to stay in and you can't get past the sandbox and yeah, but you can still kill you can still kill people in their dreams. We just gotta stay in the sandbox, okay? Kill. <laughs> and it's just like, okay. Wait, you didn't tell me this before. What? Wait, you didn't you didn't tell me this before? Is this wasn't a part of the contract, people? You never gave me a contract, and if you did give me a contract, you didn't even tell me the full details of the contract. So. You kind of suck. <laughs> that whole thing. Um, yeah, I will post this video on um, YouTube, and I might kind of do another video of like um, my viewpoint of angels because that's a whole different other thing. Um, my viewpoint of the complex nature of angels and how I see angels, or yeah, how I view angels. You know that whole thing so i might do another video about that and um yeah so i mean i might write a nightmare on elm street fan fiction maybe of jamie running into freddie because of the hidden gift that she has that you are going to find out in book two and is there going to be very very scary scenes that's in book two? Oh yes <laughs> you only thought the freaky nightmares were only a part of Broken Angel, the first book. Oh, honey, mm -mm. they get a lot more worse, and they get a lot more gorier in the sequel book, in, um, in book two, that whole thing. So, yeah, I hope this video kind of answers that questions of, you know, how I view Freddy, which I, Freddy is awesome and amazing, fan of Freddy, um, and kind of how I see him and, um, you know, and will I ever write a fan fiction, a Nightmare on Elm Street fan fiction of Jamie ever running into Freddy? I don't know. I might do another video kind of viewing like what is, what would Freddy think of Hades? Would he be terrified of Hades? Probably. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I might do another video about that. Okay. Well, peace out, dudes. Bye.